Joining us now is Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez of California. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. No one is suggesting that the health care exchanges do not have problems, but does anyone really believe that Republicans have the solution? Well, certainly my Republican colleagues, especially in the House, have uh, given us no alternative. Um, uh, most of them were very against trying to get health care for those who had pre-existing conditions and hadn't been able to get health care for a while. So I've heard nothing from them with respect to what would you put in place. And quite frankly, when I've gone home to California, to Orange County where I represent people are lined up at computers at the public libraries and they are uh, calling on the 800 number we have covered California they're in Orange County and most of them are pretty excited that for the first time in a long time they are going to get some affordable health care but given the problems that exist with the system at this moment would you be inclined to join the position of some other Democrats who have suggested that maybe delaying the mandate would be a good thing? Well, remember that states had the opportunity to build their own system. And I come from a state of California, the largest populated state, of course. We have um, about 38 million people there. And we have our own system. And so far, it's worked great. In fact, Martin, I was able to go on it and take a look from the same company that provides my federal insurance. I was able to take a look and notice that the premium that um, I, I pay through the government is just one dollar difference through the premium that I would pay in covered California which means to me that in covered California the policies that are there are as if you were working for a large organization okay, in other you, words uh, the negotiations okay, but what about, have what, actually brought the price down okay but what about your colleagues in states where Republican governors have rejected or yeah, refused to set up. Uh, Martin, uh, isn't that a shame? It's such it, a shame that well, so many places refuse to do that. I, I, and so I, the but the question, I, I, yes, but the yes. question I'm asking you is: Do you think that there ought to be some opportunity in places where this dysfunctionality is rife that perhaps delaying things a little might be a good thing to do? Well, we have delayed it, actually, um, until March of next year for people to actually go in and purchase it. So most of the time you're going to be doing that from about October 1st to December. And this year we've actually given it an extra three months. And that's a good thing because we knew there would be problems. Are there problems with that website? Absolutely. But remember that this program is not just a website. It's an 800 number. There are insurance brokers out there who are schooled in this and are able to sell the policies also. So I think that um, certainly I would be the first one to tell President Obama that he, they need to get this, uh, this uh, internet site up and going the correct and way do where you, people and, don't get confused okay. or angry about and it. And so final question to you, do you share the Republican view that John McAfee is the answer to those technical problems? I, I certainly don't believe that uh, this gentleman, if you could call him that, is the answer to uh, the technical problems we're having. In fact, many people, you know, Silicon Valley is in California, Orange County is one of the largest places for this. Many of our, much of our brain power from there is now being used to fix these problems Wonderful. on these particular websites. Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez, thank you so much. Thank you.